In this video, we are going to talk about Mars into the sign of Aquarius. So keep watching. Namaste and welcome to Pramanic Astrology channel. I'm your host Prasad Mahazani. Before we start Mars into Aquarius, if you want to learn Vedic Astrology step by step, I have a free live training for more than three hours, which will help you to get started into Vedic Astrology. Just check out the link into the description for the live training. And if you want to learn Vedic Astrology step by step, join me on 33 days Vedic Astrology Bootcamp Lifetime Access. And check out the link for readings and consultations. Mars into the sign of Aquarius. What is Mars? I have already made a separate video on Mars. Mars is your strength. Mars is energy. Mars is the planet which makes you, you know, which gives you passion. And it also gives you uh, discipline and goal orientation. It helps you to thrive, to achieve certain things in life. And it also makes you feel energetic. It is your competitive spirit. Mars also represents land and building. Mars is also responsible for siblings. Mars, the name for the Mars is Mangal. The name itself shows good. Okay. So Mars is a energy, the very energy force in your chart. This is a masculine force in your chart which goes out and seek and achieve and you know compete, thrive and get what it wants. Okay, it, it is very suitable for the 10th house things. What is the sign of Aquarius? The Aquarius sign is ruled by Saturn which is you know it, it brings in all the qualities of saturn and you know it is humble it is you know it has that inner humility and patience at the same time at the same time it is righteous and has the social sense aquarius sign is extremely clever and witty the the sign of aquarius has the ability to sacrifice the self for the betterment of the society it lets go of the self and then it connects with the social betterment okay you can only do the social betterment when you are selfless if you are selfish you can improve yourself but the best thing is you have to improve yourself you have to be comfortable within yourself to go out and do good for larger people and that's what Aquarius does. Aquarius is extremely comfortable with who they are. They don't have any, uh, you know, demands. They don't have any ambitions about the self. Because they are selfless, they are better with the society. They look for the other people's betterment and how other people can grow up as well. That's the beauty of Aquarius. Aquarius is a genius sign. It is the ultimate sign of a Kama Trikon 3711 and it is also the air element sign. Air element signs are curious, intelligent, clever and more than that they are also about the communication. Air sign is air, just apply the qualities of air. Air moves from one direction to the other. So these, these people are more about communication, these people are more about travel. Okay, so these people have the ability to communicate their, uh, you know, intelligence for the betterment of the society. These people have the ability to travel across the countries and globe to help people or, you know, to stand for the social justice and so on. So Aquarius is the sign of genius. Socially intelligent people have this sign, the prominent sign in their uh, chart like you know ascendant in Aquarius moon in Aquarius right Atma Karaka in Aquarius right all Amatya Karaka in Aquarius all these things improve or makes you an Aquarian person not just sun sign or moon sign okay so look for these signs as well in your chart Aquarius is a fixed sign okay what is the fixed sign Fixed signs are the signs which allows, which hold things which are started into earlier Chara sign 
okay so whatever has started into the capricorn the aquarian things will hold it right you have the highest achievements in the capricorn now the aquarian sign will hold it for the betterment of the society it is that you know it 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 continues the things which have started into the sign of aquarius or the 10th house things right and then it will go into the sign of pisces which is a dual sign which will convert it into another new thing which is aries sign as a fixed sign aquarius person will stand for who he is he is not bothered by other people's opinion about him he is not bothered or he is not bothered by opinions of the other people or you know he doesn't even care for the validations from the other people for who he is he is extremely comfortable in who he is that's the fixed nature this person has now once he is settled into his individuality now he can go out into the public to help them okay the only successful public speakers or you know politicians or anybody social worker are the people who are extremely comfortable with their uh, good things and bad things you have to accept yourself as who you are you know it doesn't mean you should accept the bad things in your life but at least you should acknowledge those bad things and start working on that that's what these people do the fixed nature of aquarius allows these people to be comfortable with who they are and this is the biggest thing in order to take a leap into the social life now even they go into the public they are comfortable with their strength and weaknesses and still they want to serve other people welcome to aquarius now what happens when you have mars coming into the sign of aquarius the planet of individuality comes into the sign of social betterment right the aquarian people have the ability for the social justice right so mars feels uncomfortable here and here is a secret about aquarius aquarius is the first sign after the sign of exaltation of mars mars is getting exalted into the sign of capricorn the saturn ruled sign but which is more like a earth element sign right what is the difference between aquarius and capricorn capricorn is ruled by saturn capricorn and uh, aquarius is also ruled by saturn but the difference is capricorn is an earth element sign aquarius is an air element sign okay this is how there is a difference though they both are ruled by saturn they behave in a different way they allow certain uh, environment to the planet okay so mars feels comfortable into the sign of aquarius though it is ruled by its enemy saturn he feels comfortable because of its significations of practicality hard working it feels comfortable and you know he feels he has better chance of manifesting into the sign of capricorn so gets exalted but right after the sign of exaltation it is moving towards its sign of debilitation right from the aquarius from the capricorn it is moving towards the cancer sign right so right after the sign of exaltation is an uncomfortable sign because it has just come out of the exaltation and now he is not comfortable because he is you know he is used to capricorn and now he feels uncomfortable into the sign of aquarius why because the planet of self comes into the sign of aquarian social justice mars is not interested into other people to be frank mars is more about the self development achievement of the goals even anyone is not supporting him he doesn't care he simply keep on marching towards his goal and achieves it he believes in doing things himself rather than waiting for other people or you know uh, waiting for other people's help he doesn't believe that other people will help him in his uh, achievements he himself is a go getter now he feels uncomfortable into the sign of aquarius the planet of ambition goes into the sign of letting go aquarius is the sign of letting things go aquarius doesn't care about things okay he doesn't even care about the self he's more about joint existence 
the social existence and how we can grow as a humanity. They are more interested into these things. And even if it means they have to sacrifice themselves and Mars doesn't like this. Mars is self-oriented, an ambitious planet. So the planet of ambition comes into the sign of letting things go. So these people are not ambitious. These people don't find any value in being ambitious because they think that whatever I do, anyway, I have to let it go. They, they don't have that feeling of ambition. Oh, I want to achieve this. I want to do these things. No, they feel that no matter even if I become a king, how does it matter to the society? What, what? value I, am I going to bring into the society even if I'm a servant I'm, even if I'm a king or even even if I'm a president or you know a normal human being what I'm doing for the other people is what matters to Aquarian sign person rather than you know what he's getting and Mars doesn't like that so these people does not have ambitions now the planet of energy comes into the sign of service the sign of aquarius is the sign of service okay but these people have a lot of energy when it comes to serving other people they have the highest form of energy they feel good when they have to serve other people but they, if they have to do certain things for themselves they don't feel energetic okay this is the uh, you know paradox of uh, mars into the sign of aquarius so yes this is Mars in Aquarius as much as I could hold, grasp and share with you guys. If you want to learn Vedic Astrology or deep dive into Vedic Astrology, these two videos on your screen will help you to deep dive into Vedic Astrology. Or you can watch my free live training, sending you tons of positive energy, sending you high vibrations. See you in the next videos. Love and peace. Namaste.